I, I don't mind Daryl in this meta, but without mechs and demons, I don't have who to buff. So I think I'm gonna go for Sir Finley. Chandy's token lobby with token in the tavern seems pretty good. I can swap Finley's body. But... But Jandice's body sucks. Actually, the way you're gonna do it is you swap it when you already have Jandice's body on the board to get Jandice's body again so that they stack, right? And then you make your body have very high stats. Maybe it's not that bad of a play, we'll see. I'll try to think of it before I do it. Which is usually not my strong suit. Is Pound here better? I have to freeze. But it is better, yeah. Could have gotten a 4-drop next turn. I never want 4-drops on Jandis. I feel like it's either double 5-drop, or it's uh, first you take a 3-drop and then you take a 5-drop. So now if you want Mox Tempo, you should play the Scout. Discover a free drop. That's your signal. Time to go. <laughs> Spawn played around his goal so well. We still lost, but... I think we might get the Mighty Steed next turn. Do you like the new update? Yeah, I like it a lot. You freeze Tide Hunter because that allows you to switch your steed already next turn. Bran is very powerful. That's your signal. Time to go. I think I should almost always get it. Nice. Yeah, you first play your discoveries. I 
Is this fair? Dizzy Jandis. That's your signal. Time to go. This doesn't feel that fair. Next time I just go to six, right? I uh, go to five, discover six. I meant. Yeah, this is like the best combo you can do. Finley, Jandis, Bran. It's probably tier 1 to do this combo. Yeah, now I just go up. Objective is just Murlocs, Amalgadons, Shenanigans. Oh my god. I cannot level now, unless I triple sell. Do I just wait the turn? Gambling is the best. The other in my favor. This only works until you triple the steed. But you know what? Tripling the steed is gonna take ages. This is just so much tempo I can rush 6. Maybe I can just go to 6 next turn. No rest for the weary, hero. Pirates are bad, don't do it. Yeah, I'm not playing pirates. I want to play Murlocs. I want to go 5 and then go 6 and then play Murlocs. 5-6 Murlocs. That's it. 5-6 Murlocs. That's my plan. You can keep the steed in the shop. Yeah, but the steed is too big. I think I'll just stop it when uh, I make it golden. This Murloc is super good. So now you take this. Well, I can just go look out, put it back, and then slinger it. Heroes must make sacrifices. Dude. You're picking your luck, little thing. This just seems ridiculous. Next time I'm always going to six. I don't even want to switch the mighty steed. I want to switch Sefin so that it gets a lot of stats. But maybe, no, switching the chef is good because then you can keep the chef. Yeah, yeah, you switch the chef, you switch the chef. You switch the chef. The 
I want it to open on the ship so that I try to poison the Sephine. And I'm dealing too much damage. The game truly cannot handle what's happening here. Okay, at least being dead just opens the floodgates to hell. That's a triple. I want to switch Amalgadon and make it golden and then Lil Rag it. I don't want to switch the Steed anymore, but I want to keep the Steed to try to triple the Steed and just get uh, multiple golden guys, right? Yeah, tripling the Steed gives me twice the golden uh, apprentice. That's two discoveries for six drops, which is pretty solid. I should kick the Apprentice. I get two more Apprentices in like two turns, I think. And then I should play the two Apprentices just to triple. Freeze for Hamul? Yeah, we can freeze for Hamul. Why not? I know what I need to do here. By the way, with the triple Apprentices, I could also switch the Bran to put stats on Bran. There's like so many plays you can do. Nothing is really wrong. As long as you do something, nothing is wrong. Is it ever good to not golden the Amalgadon so you can keep stat swapping it for stats? Uh, not really because stats at some point don't really matter because opponents are gonna have poison. If you tunnel vision on one minion, that's worse than like trying to get more valuable high power units. I want a perfect Amalgam and Golden Amalgam is gonna secure that. And because of how big the Seafood Slinger is, I can just keep doing that if I wanted to. That's pretty insane. Yeah, next time I'm gonna get the Steed Golden. So this turn is gonna be crazy, next turn is gonna be crazy. Finley Jandis, if you discover Bran, is out of this world. Let's roll here. I want Hamul. Not sure if I want the chef. I like the chef. I like the chef more than the little rag. I like second my ex, not just so others don't get it. I like it that I'm at the point where I'm buying things so my opponents don't get them. Amalgam in the shop is huge.
vicious recruit. I'm beating this guy anyways, probably, so let's just do this. This is disgusting. Well, wait until you see next turn. Now I'm gonna triple the Steed. The Golden Steed is gonna give me two of the Jandis Golden Bodies. Each Jandis Golden Body is going to give me a Discovery. Should I continue? I'm not sure if I should switch the Chef with Amalgan and try to make it work. I actually think you, sh you sell the Chef. I actually think you sell the Chef and not switch it. Let's triple this and see what happens. So, blank. I think we play this. Discover again. Hamul is very powerful. I'm just exhausting the lobby of my ex Naz. Now let's see the reward. May scenarios smile upon you. You're fishing your luck, then. Yeah, I think this is too OP. I'm trying to think, I want to wait for a Chef, buy the Chef, play Amalgadon, switch Amalgadon, and then play the Chef on it. And I also want to reborn my Maesna, and I also want to kick the brand for something else. But other than that, how's your day going? You are doing this is way too insane. Feeling into Janice is like the most powerful thing I ever played. Feeling Janice get Bran is just illegal in every country. I feel like with how strong this is, Jandis should no longer be an option on Finley. Okay. Three shot, buckle up. Do I just kick my Moex now? No, because she can get reborn. Yes. So she's more valuable because of that. We kick a Murloc, right? Yeah, now we roll. Let's get some stats. I'm getting stats because I'm bored. I cannot believe we didn't get the S. I feel robbed. Maybe that's how my opponents feel when they face me. Do you think it's worth playing Zap against Seven Beast? Asking for a friend. 
This Don is not switchable, so he's not fixable. We got 10 times attack, 1 time wind fury, 8 times spores. This guy is almost more vegan than Kriparian. We got 3 times health, 6 times 1-1, one, one, taunt and poison, and no divine shield. Thirty adopts. I don't need another my ex now. I just need to get born for this one, and that's it. Realistically speaking. I'm doing super. You know what would be hilarious? Losing. Losing would be very hilarious. I feel like Zap was garbage. He just slowed me down. And I got lucky with his Hydra hits. I could have positioned a little bit better against Cleaving. This is like one of my biggest issues. Once I'm super ahead, I make some sloppy mistakes which give my opponents a chance. I'm sure with perfect positioning, my opponents would have zero here. As they freaking should, with how my board looks like. I'm not even killing the Barov. So, like, we're gonna meet him again. I mean, he's not gonna get stronger than that, but... We are meeting him again. So, what do I go for? I go for Golden Selfless Byron. Reborn on my ex now. And we stop messing around. Hamul is actually good. Amul gives me more stats. Hamul gives me more stats and Hamul also gives me a chance at Reborn. Nice. Maybe you freeze my X9 and do double reborn my X9 next turn. But I have to give up on a minion if I want to do that. I have to give up on the Dawn. Or I have to give up on Sephin. But if I give up on Sephin, I cannot poison my Murloc. The idea of this is you sell the Dawn. Um, so you switch this, okay? You play my X9, reborn it. Sell the Dawn and on Bagargal, put Bagargal and Sefin in the back, Sefin poisons the Bagargal. So you basically replace this Amalgadon with a Bagargal, and you get another poison Maxna uh, reborn. And I think the fact that Maxna has reborn is going to warrant um, cutting the Dawn, because the Dawn is imperfect, he doesn't have Divine Shield. Jandis Hero Power does not work on Golden Minions. That is the problem. On why I'm stuck with this Dawn, so I'm better off just kicking it. By kicking the Dawn, we put three Dawns in the pool as well. I think. And this guy cannot even utilize the Dawns properly. Thank you, Crusher Knight, for the sub. He tried to snipe. Pam 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 pam. He has about a billion attack. And I don't know if it matters. It's a funny composition, though. What if this just kills me?
Close enough. I'll try to change it, Hero Proto. Thank you for the feedback. Let's kill Barov and win the lobo lobby. Uh, switch first, right? Switching with Mike's now gives me a discount. If you switch with Mama, what you do is you cut a Dawn. Oh, oh, oh. Order. Order, lul. Okay. I don't want to sell this to put it back in the pool and give it to Barov, who actually needs it. Maybe I'm overthinking about putting things back into the pool, but I think it might matter in some situations. So you're better off being safe than sorry. Okay. When we have 10 seconds left on the clock, I'm going to sell the Rattler, play the Bagargle. The question is, where do we play the Bagargle and how we position the board other than that? Well... I like opening on the strongest Dawn since he didn't have to he didn't seem to have a taunted my ex now. And then I wanna continue with another Dawn. And then I wanna put one Dawn in the back. But Gargle here, Seth in here. Is this good? I don't know. Maybe it should be Seth in Bagargle last in case he cleaves last. He keeps he cleaves my Bagargle. Should I let him cleave on my ex now? How is that better than let him letting him cleave Bagargle? Could be like this, and then Bagargle here. Maybe this is the Rattler that we bought. Who knows? I'm freezing in case he somehow manages to tie or win. I would like then to buy the Rattler, roll for my Exna. If I find my Exna, I switch my, my non-golden Exna to the shop, play the other my Exna, uh, revive it as well, and then blah, 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 blah. Yeah, Vivon. But yeah, I should have went for another Golden Myx now. Another Reborn Myx now, because why not? Finally a win today. And in what way? This win was just glorious with Jandis. I mean, it was Finley Jandis, which is just OP, OP. Truly. I'll play one more game. Let's go.